Well, the dock workers are on strike. They're wanting over 70% pay increase and to stop automation, right? What's one thing robots don't do? We're hearing this a lot, right? They don't go on strike. Most people want to side with the dock workers, right? They're like, yeah, you need more pay. And then you start realizing how much these people actually make. Not talking about all of them, but they make pretty good money, right? Some of them make more than a registered nurse makes. And they control the flow of goods into America, right? This is pushing for more automation. That, that's what they don't understand. We had a place here in my hometown that went on strike back, way back in the 90s. And within a year or two, that place closed down. Once they agreed to their terms and everything, then they closed the plant down, right? One to two years later. Guys, this is just going to lead to more and more automation and more and more people out of work. And ask yourself, well, if everything goes automated, where do people actually work? There won't be no jobs, right? I'm torn on this one because right now the area is hit by this hurricane. They need all the supplies and goods they can get. They're, they're devastated up there, right? I mean, you've got whole towns wiped off the map that needs things. And right now it's available and people are buying it up and shipping it and getting it to them the best they can, right? Okay, well, when it's not coming in, there's no more to put in the store than what? Should the dot workers went on strike after the hurricane? Maybe they should have waited a little bit, right? But you also look at it, or that's the right timing, right? Right when they need us, we need to we need to shut everything down. I also ask yourself this. I made a short today. What if the government intensified this hurricane because the dot workers were threatening a strike, they were offered a 50% increase, and they were told, no, we want 70% or 70 more than 70% increase and in, in no automation. But they were offered a 50% pay increase and they refused it. Government sitting there, well, they're going to go on strike on October 1st. We've got this hurricane. Let's intensify it, right? That way it'll do devastation everywhere. And the dot workers will be like, we don't need to go on strike right now because we need to help our fellow Americans. Don't put it past the government doing something like that, right? We've all heard of cloud seeding and all this. They can probably more than likely do what I'm talking about. Why would they do that? Simple fact, the government is not out for you and I. They're, they're not your buddy. They're not. They're, you know, they're not here to help you. They're here to make as much money as they can for themselves and their friends. So it is highly possible that happened, but it backfired, right? The dot workers like, nope, we're going on strike anyways. But you've got to ask yourself, would you turn down a 50% pay increase? Most of you would say, no, I, I would happily accept a 50% pay increase, but they want over 70% pay increase. That's a lot of money. Now, I'm not saying everybody that works at the dock makes awesome money. Some people don't work full-time. Some people work part-time. You got to understand that. But when you have a guy that's making well north of $500,000 a year wanting a pay increase, there's something wrong there. And of course, they're saying it's because the, the company's greed, right? The companies, they make these billions of dollars. Well, what about the people that's out here working for, believe it or not, there's people out here that work 40 hours a week for anywhere from minimum wage up in my area. $15 an hour is probably about the max you're going to get at most jobs. Some of them will pay a little more, but then they're just going to eat you up on taxes you know, a lot of people, when they scream they want a pay raise, you need to really start looking at the tax brackets. When you go up a certain level, you get taxed more, right? Is that the point to where companies are making billions of dollars? Billions, right? They was claiming, they, you know, they had to raise prices due to the, the pandemic and all that stuff. Well, that's over. Why is the prices still high? Because they're making record profits, right? They're paying their people more, but yet still making record profits. And you've got the guys out here like, we want more of the pie. We want more. We want a bigger cut of the pie here. Well, what does that do when they pay their employees more? It raises the prices for you and I when we need to go buy something. It's plain and simple. It's trickle down economics, right? If we got to pay more for the for to produce our product for our employees. We've got to raise the price because we want our profit margins to stay exactly the same or higher. We don't want to, you know, 
lose money, which is most people in business do not want to lose money. But we're getting to the point now where it's just plain old simple greed. And everybody else is starting to get greedy and wanting part of the pie. And eventually the only way they're going to be able to solve all this is the vast majority of jobs will go automated, which means there will be a robot doing your job. Look at all the self-checkout stuff right now, right? It probably won't be long until you go into a store and you just type into a computer what you want, a robot system. I'm not talking about a robot looks like you and I, but just some kind of system on the rack will go down the rack, scan what you want, put it in something, bring it back, and then you just pay and leave. That's where we're headed. And how do you stop that? I don't know. Should the dot workers be on strike right now with what's going on? No, they should not. Because the people in the flooded out, the, the destroyed areas of our country, they need our help. And we can help them right now. But the dot workers know, hey, if we keep the port shut down for a little while, we'll more than likely, it's called strong arm tactics. Plain and simple. I'm just going to give it to you straight. If we can keep everything shut down and once the supplies run out in the store and these people need all this, they will come in and they will work a better deal with us. They will give us more money. You ever heard, you know, you, you hear all the time, we don't negotiate with terrorists. This, these people are not terrorists. I'm not calling them terrorists at all. But you've got to understand, they've got leverage now. Right now, they're just hoping. They're sitting there hoping. We hope these stores run out because then they're going to jump on and then we're going to be the big heroes and we're going to run back out here and open the ports up. That's what's going to happen. And they're using this, this catastrophe that happened as leverage, as a strong arm tactic against them so they can get more money in the unions. Most people know here in Alabama there's not a union. You know, some places have a union. Most places do not. It's called a right to work state where they can fire you for any reason. Of course, you'll hear that you can't be fired for any reason, but literally you can. I've been fired while I was out on a doctor's excuse. Yeah, it's happened. There's not much you can do about it because if you want to fight it, it's just going to cost you more money. So what do you think about this? Do you think the government intensified this hurricane? A lot of people's not talking about that. Matter of fact, I haven't heard anybody say anything about it. What if the government, you know, these dot workers were offered 50% pay increase, better insurance and all this type of stuff, and they refused it. We've got that hurricane spinning out there. Well, let's intensify this thing. Let's make this thing a major rainstorm, right? Some of you are going to be like, you're, you're crazy. Government can't do that. This is just tenfold hat theory, right? That's all this is. If they intensified it purposely trying to do this, number one, that should show you the government's not your friend. They'll do what they got to do to get what they want. Guys, that could have happened. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think that's possible and that's what happened, that the government intensified it to, to make it do what it did just to try to get the dot workers to go back to work? or to accept the, the offer they were offered. I, you know, Tim Full Hat Theory may be completely off the, the playing card here, right? But that could be what's going on. And do you think these dot workers should, should have accepted the 50%, or do you think they're right for asking for more than 70%? And before you answer that question, go look at what the average income for a dot worker is. I don't care if they work. Just look. Look at the average income. And ask yourself, should they be asking for that much? Let me know your thoughts on this video. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of your surroundings all the time. Protect yourself and families at all time. At that moment, you're the only person who can do it, guys. Greed has, has completely taken over the United States. It has take, took over. They realized that during the pandemic, they could charge what they want. People will pay it. They can. It, it's going to keep getting worse. It's going to keep getting worse. And with stuff going on like this, it's going to push us more and more into automation. And eventually we may go into a store and just have to type in what we want and the machine goes and gets it. We're close to there now. Let me know your thoughts on this.